there's no doubt that CRM's history is intertwined with the plane crashes of the 1970s. As clinicians, I'd like us to reflect on whether or not we can learn from the aviation industry and apply lessons learned to our daily practice. Comparisons of aviation and accidents to medicine and patient harm are common and controversial among clinicians. Analyses from airplane accidents show that failures are frequently related to a pilot's non-technical and communication skills rather than to technical flying abilities or aircraft malfunctions. Both industries are high-risk environments that require peak individual performance in the setting of resource constraints. Quick decisions need to be made in a crisis, often with incomplete information. But the environments of aviation and healthcare are not the same. And I think it's important to ask ourselves whether or not we are comparing apples to oranges. Adverse events in aviation are rare, highly visible, and subject to exhaustive investigations. On the other hand, healthcare incidents are more common, often not reported, and lack the standardization of quality assurance. In the conversation about parallels between aviation and medicine, we must acknowledge that while planes are built in a standard way, humans are not. In a study of both OR personnel and pilots, researchers reported that pilots were far more likely to embrace flat hierarchies. This study found that 70% of surgical attendings and 47% of anesthesiologists agreed with the statement, even when fatigued, I perform effectively during critical phases of operations and care. Yet only 26% of pilots agreed with that statement. And one wonders whether or not fatigue is as big of an issue as we think it may be. Studies of work hour regulations have not found improvements in patient safety, and time of day of an operation has not been associated with improved patient outcomes. I ask you to reflect on two questions. Does it matter if your surgeon leaves in the middle of an operation to rest? Furthermore, does it matter if an anesthesiologist hands off a case in the middle of a liver transplant.